Christian spirituality is centered in God. In fact, its very goal is communion with God, which is attainable through the accomplishment of His will. To be what God wants us to be and to do what God wants us to do is the sole meaning of our human existence. The fulfillment of the prayer, Thy will be done, is the heart and soul of all spiritual effort and activity. In the Old Testament law, it is written, I am the Lord your God. Consecrate yourselves therefore, and be holy, for I am holy. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 44. In the New Testament, the first letter of Saint Peter refers to this fundamental command of God. As he who called you is holy, be holy yourself in all your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16. That human beings should be holy by sharing in the happiness of God himself is the meaning of union with God. All are, called to be saints, Romans chapter 1 verse 7, by becoming, partakers of the nature of God, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1. This is what Jesus meant when he said in Sermon on the Mount, you, therefore, must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, Matthew chapter 5 verse 48. The teaching that man must be holy and perfect like God himself through the accomplishment of the will of God is the central teaching of the Orthodox Christian faith. This teaching has been stated in many different ways in the Orthodox spiritual tradition. Saint Maximus the Confessor said it this way, Man is called to become by divine grace all that God himself is by nature. This means very simply that God wills and helps his creatures to be like he is, and that is the purpose of their being and life. As God is holy, man must be holy. As God is perfect, man must be perfect, pure, merciful, patient, kind, gentle, free, self-determining, ever-existing, and always, for eternity, the absolute superabundant realization of everything good in inexhaustible fullness and richness. So man must be this way as well, ever growing and developing in divine perfection and virtue for all eternity by the will and power of God himself. The perfection of man is his growth in the unending perfection of God. If you enjoyed this talk, consider subscribing to this channel and click on the notification bell, then you will know when new content is added to this playlist. Thank you for listening, and have a blessed day.